Join me for another episode of me talking smack about a lot of things that people really like. It's time for another round of 60 things I no longer buy our own. Letting go of my Ziplocs was the tip of the iceberg for something much deeper. By beginning to trust yourself on tiny preferences like do I prefer bralettes or bras or no bras? I think it's a huge deal in moving from an anxious attachment style to a more grounded and secure attachment style. And ultimately in moving from a girl to a woman that fully embodies herself, trusts herself, and is able to tap into her intuition, even in this age of information. I'm actually gonna link a couple of videos that have really helped me understand anxious versus secure attachment styles so that you can listen to them as you're decluttering later today. As always, I think the secret sauce here is letting go of what other people think and instead just getting more grounded, secure, and just comfortable with who you are. I actually have a whole bunch of these videos now, which I will link for you. You can go, let's watch like 150 things I no longer buy around. But I've actually tried to come up with 60 new things. Forgive me if there's like one or two repeats that I couldn't remember because I just hate to watch my old videos. First up is cheap clothing. If you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Maddie, and I do a thing called the Tenet and Wardrobe, which sounds really crazy and restrictive, I know. For me, someone that likes variety, that wakes up one day and wants to feel sporty, wakes up the next and wants to do the cute housewife thing, wakes up the next day and wants to wear a bikini all day, I have found it to be incredibly freeing. And 10 items is more than you think, especially when they're 10 items that you really, really like. I've also found that I save an exponential amount of money on clothing every year. Buying quality, saves you money. I talk about this in my course with price per wear. Anyways, just go check out my tenant and wardrobe if you are interested more in that. Secondly, anything but gold, simple, pure, high quality, dainty jewelry. That is just, at this point in my life, maybe it'll change in the future, what looks best on me and that works. Number three is bras and hear me out on this, okay? I'm not gonna try to get demonetized. I spent a lot of my life really hating my breasts and my breast size and trying to make them look like something that they weren't and just constantly like thinking negative thoughts about myself. It sounds like a small thing or maybe it doesn't but it was a really big deal for me tapping back into my feminine energy and just owning my body and loving being a woman. That was an important step for me to take of just getting rid of all of those like really suffocating bras. Now I have a couple bralettes that I just think are cute and like accentuate my body. Next up is t-shirts. And by this I mean like mom t-shirt, airport t-shirt, cringy kid t-shirt. Again, no judgment. I have bought all of these items. I just don't anymore. Lastly in the closet category, that is heels. I mean, this is just like a practicality thing. I think heels are fun. I just definitely don't wear them on a day-to-day -day basis. They're bad for my feet. They're bad for my back. If you follow my channel for any length of time, you know that like I am 99% barefoot. Next up is beauty. So let's talk about this. As I started thinking about this, there are so many things I used to buy that I can't believe I used to buy. And first up is hair extensions. My hair is night and day difference from what it used to be where I would bleach it and flat iron it. And if you could have seen my hair back then, of course, all the pictures of me were me with my hair done and with tons of hairspray and product and hair extensions. Anyway, my hair was falling out. And so I started wearing hair extensions and my hair looked good when it was done, but when it was not done, it looked so bad. So I'll probably make a whole video about that at some point, but Suffice to say, I do not buy hair extensions, I do not buy hairspray, curl holding, mousses, any hair products other than like a few natural things like uh, hair oil. I also used to get my nails done. I used to get those gel manicures. They're expensive, they're not good for you. I just wanted to get healthy naturally and I wanted to feel my best. And that took me down this whole life-changing journey of starting to finally take care of myself. So with that came like everything else on this list. Face washes and face washing products and cleansers. I, cleansers, yeah. I don't buy cleansers anymore. I use coconut oil and a warm washcloth to wash my face and I feel like my skin's never been better. Also stopped using tampons and like toxic disposable period stuff that I didn't know was toxic. But yeah, I started using a menstrual cup as I started learning about natural birth control. I read Taking Charge of Your Fertility and In the Flow, 
which are two really good books that every woman should know about. If you've not read those, go check them out. I'll link them down below. Next up is Self Tanner. So there was this short period of my life. I used a lot of self tanner, a lot of self tanner. Next up is traditional medicine. So I actually used to be on a whole bunch of different medications. Medication for asthma, medication for hypothyroid. Yeah, I'm not on any of those medications anymore. I don't take over the counter like painkillers. Oh, I used to take like a sleeping pill. My gosh. Anyways, thankfully I don't take any more of those. Okay, and then two last ones in the beauty category and that is shaving cream and lotions. I don't use lotions anymore. I have like some very natural body oils that I'll use sometimes if my skin really needs it. Often I think I would put on these lotions without even thinking about like, do I really need this? Or am I just like reading the bottle and the bottle's telling me I need this? That and then shaving cream. I don't use shaving cream anymore. <laughs> yeah, shaving seems to be going fine without shaving cream, so. Okay, let's blow through a little category and that's the bedroom. I used to have sheets for every day of the week. Now I just have one sheet set. When it's dirty, I wash it and then we put it back on. And decorative pillows. I used to have so many decorative pillows, both for our bed, our guest room, our couch, or our like holiday themed. I like pillows, I like having pillows, but I don't buy the decorative ones anymore. Let's get into the kitchen now. Let me just like brag about my garden for a second. I no longer buy herbs, any type of herbs. I grow them all in my garden, which I just like, I know I'm letting myself get a little too big for my britches. I'm very excited and very proud that all of my herbs now come from the garden and all of my lettuce greens, like all of our salad greens, any greens like for soups and stews or stir fries all come from our garden. Next up is processed food. And I'm just gonna also throw in non-organic food. I just don't buy it anymore. Next on the list is aprons. Believe it or not, I used to be someone that bought an inordinate amount of aprons. I had an apron for every holiday, a different theme, a different like mood I was in. My friends and family knew about it and actually threw me an apron themed bridal shower. That's how much I used to love aprons. Fast food, saying no altogether is so much more freeing than constantly trying to figure out, oh, is this like the 80% that I'm being healthy or is this the 20% where I'm not? It, for me, like is just, way easier to just be like, no, I don't eat fast food. I don't support that industry. I don't want to do that to my body. Next up is baby food, you know, in the little jars or like the purees, breast milk and baby led weaning. We never had to buy baby food. Next up is soda and juice boxes. We don't buy these because it makes our grocery bill needlessly expensive. Processed kid snacks, yeah, they cost so much and then they're gone in a second. It feels like they all get eaten in one day. If our kids want snacks, they will have whole foods out of our fridge or our pantry. Next up is Ziplocs. Yeah, I don't buy Ziplocs anymore. Um, we buy those like silicone stasher bags and that seems to be going fine. Next up is mugs from every place that I travel to. I don't wanna have another thing to deal with. I would rather just like enjoy the vacation while I'm on the vacation or the place while I'm at the place. Next up is plastic water bottles. We have one of those like really big half gallon hydro flasks that we bring with us like on family outings. And then the kids both have hydro flasks of their own. Next up is a coffee maker. I'm not here to tell you if coffee's good or not good for you. I just don't drink it. I like not having another appliance. I drink dandelion lattes. Here I go again. Okay, next up in the super controversial category, alcohol. Um, yeah, my husband and I don't drink. Again, it's not for like a religious reason or like a we're just better than you reason. It's just, we just, I used to drink on occasion like with girlfriends. There's this growing culture of, I call it wine mom culture, hanging out, basically complaining about how hard our kids are and how annoying and sloppy our husbands are and just like, you know, drinking wine about it. I just don't, just no. Next up, um, single use napkins. Uh, I used to buy those packs. You would get like 150 napkins and you open it and then they're just everywhere. I now have linen napkins and I do, I feel very extra about it. So long, single use napkins, so long. Uh, aluminum foil, we don't need to explain that. And bathroom and kitchen cleaners. I use Burnish Basics, the concentrate, and I make my own you know, cleaners for every room, every situation. I don't even walk down the cleaning aisles of Target anymore. I actually came up with a whole bunch more kit items that we don't buy. First up is baby stuff. And by that, I mean when you're gonna have a new baby and you 
have like a baby shower and then you get like a bunch of baby stuff. We got all that stuff. We thought we needed all that stuff, whether it was like crib sheets, cribs, all the baby clothes, uh, onesies, jumping toys, rattles. I remember when I was pregnant with my second baby, we were getting ready for him to come and I had this little basket by our bed of like, here's the baby stuff, I'm ready for the baby. And it was diapers, two zip up onesies, like the, the sleepers and cloth wipes. Baby monitor, we never have. I know that might not be for everyone, but again, like we lived in a really small space. I guess as we moved, I just like carried that same small space like lifestyle with me. We also never bought baby lotions. I used coconut oil for just about anything and everything when it came to my babies and their skin. I hinted at this, but like toys that light up or like make noise, like those plastic toys. Uh, we also really don't do holiday baskets, like Easter baskets. Sometimes I'll do little consumable things for our kids on holidays, but I definitely don't go out and buy single use things or processed food or anything like that to like celebrate holidays. Next on the list would be duplicates of things. If I know our kids already have a truck, we won't buy more trucks. And I mean, it's my personal opinion, but I think they're better for it. Another kid thing that we don't own or buy is special occasion shoes. Yeah, so our kids wear those barefoot shoes. They're great because they can take them on and off themselves. I realized that uh, the shoes like that mostly are on the market are just bad for our kids' bodies. I like that they can have mastery of something as small as like, hey, when it's time to go, you put your shoes on. Special occasion clothing or themed clothing or like holiday specific clothing that can only be worn once. Another thing we don't really buy is birthday gifts. We found our kids are just so much happier with less toys that it's not really a gift to them. There are always family members to take care of that. As they've gotten a little bit older, we've started to do more experience gifts for our kids. Moving on. This is a category that I'm just calling miscellaneous because I have just a ton of different stuff in this. Holiday decorations. I used to have so many holiday decorations, like bins and bins and bins for every holiday. And often I would open them and like, that would like not even be my style anymore. So we were just saving stuff for me to like ultimately go and buy more stuff. A different wreath for every holiday. Yeah, I just see so much more enjoyment in the experience and the being together and the food. I just move towards things that can be used for multiple holidays. Yeah, I don't like put bunnies and eggs out for Easter anymore. It's kind of nice. Although I still really enjoy holidays. Bluetooth and wireless devices. I feel like we get enough device exposure, EMF exposure with our cell phones anyway. So I just opt out of those. Next up is like a smartwatch or a step tracker. I know a lot of people really like them and more power to you if you really like seeing how well you slept and tracking your steps and all that. Next up is anything with a credit card. I know you're like, really Maddie? We love living without debt. It's so freeing. I think like life and marriage is hard enough. Throwing debt on top of it, financial struggle is just gonna make it impossible. Another thing I never buy and never have bought is Instagram ads. Whew. Uh, those trigger me. Time management systems. I used to buy planners all the time. Try a new planner just because I get bored with my old one. Try a new one. I've been bullet journaling for years. It's the only system that's ever worked for me and my husband and like I've never known any two people that are more different. And if bullet journaling can work for both of us, I don't know who bullet journaling would not work for. I actually made a video about bullet journaling. I will link it for you. Things that I tried that didn't work out. There is like a whole category of things that I bought as a minimalist. For instance, the Instant Pot. Everyone loves the Instant Pot. I thought I was gonna love the Instant Pot. It didn't do for me what it seems to be doing for everyone else. Sometimes we try things with the best intentions and they just didn't work. That's okay. You're okay to let those go. Another thing we don't really buy anymore was physical books. Yeah, our library system and Audible contain almost every book there is. There's a certain amount of book, 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 bookage that's cozy. Past a certain point, I'm really grateful for the library and for Audible. Another thing we don't have anymore is cable subscriptions or Netflix or Hulu or any of that. We used to watch so much of that. I would be at home and it would be like during the day and I would just have a show on in the background so that like I didn't feel alone basically. We do occasionally watch like a show on our computer. We also bought Parks and Rec and The Office because those are my two favorite shows but I still don't watch them. I just don't. <laughs> Another really random thing that I don't have anymore is an office chair. I have a stand-up desk now. I don't have a need for an office chair. So another thing that I no longer own is a essential oil diffuser. People love their essential oils. 
Next up is dog toys. Listen, your dog might love dog toys and more power to your dog. Our dog doesn't. She's, we've, we've tried and I don't buy them anymore because she just doesn't care. And grand finale in the garage. Final thing we no longer own is a second car. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it. And I love hearing from you guys in the comments. I would love to hear about things that you no longer buy or own, or maybe just all your strong feelings about essential oils. Feel free to share them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Symptomatic of ecstatic and supersonic joy. I'm the biologic, get it.